everybody. All right, time to do some recording. I don't have a whole lot to put in this time. So we'll see what I can come up with. And it's Sunday. I did not get to recording on Thursday. Just had a hard time getting motivated. Plus I've had plenty of work, so there's that too. So sometimes it's just hard to find the time. All right, <clears throat> so I believe it was last weekend. Yep, I think I recorded on Saturday. <clears throat> so, um, got nine hours sleep on that day. That was good, I, I needed it, that's for sure. Um, and Doug made breakfast like he always does on Saturday. Well, not always, I've been doing it more lately, but he did the eggs, bacon, and hash browns for breakfast, and we watched some Pioneer Woman episodes, which we usually do on Saturday morning. And then around noon, we went to Menards and we picked out the knobs for our bathroom cabinet and kitchen cabinets, and he actually put those on yesterday. And then we went to Andale across the street and got bolillos and sweet bread and some other food items. And then when we got home, we had something hot to drink with the sweet bread and that Guadalupe, our friend, our son's mother-in-law sent us. And then I spent the afternoon working on the jigsaw puzzle watercolor painting, and I actually watched Sister Act 2, which is such a funny movie. And Doug did some geocaching, and then he went and met our son to look at a motorhome that he's thinking of buying for him and his wife, and then Doug got back, oh, about 6.30, and so we had supper after that. Um, we just had hot dogs and sweet potato fries, and we watched a couple Hallmark movies. The Winter Princess and A Winter Getaway. <laughs> and then on Sunday, Doug had to, there was some snow at work, and it wasn't really a lot, but he had to get up at five and go clear snow for, and, um, and I was able to actually get back to sleep and got up a couple hours later, which does not always happen. And so I just had a nice, quiet, relaxing time, had my coffee, worked on my jigsaw puzzle, and then Doug got home about mid-morning, so then we watched um, church from the week before because we had been gone for that weekend, and then, and then that day's service online. And then, um, then he went geocaching, and I recorded. So on Sunday, I recorded the YouTube. Okay. And then I just read, worked on my puzzle. Doug got home before supper, and we... What do we do for supper? Pizza. We had pizza. And we watched an episode of Last Man Standing. And then we watched an Aurora Tea Garden movie. And then at 8, we watched um, All Creatures Great and Small. So I'm looking forward to that tonight at 8 o'clock. The next number, episode number 4. And then we just read a little and, and went to bed. That's our usual, our usual routine. Um, I have another tea here I want to put in. This one is the Prickly Pear Cactus Tea. Which is really delicious. And actually, I had that on Wednesday. I need to save that. I'm not going to put that in there. Whoops. <laughs> and when did I use this? Nope, I didn't use that day either. So... Never mind. We're just going to put something in here for this day. <clears throat> Let me see if I can find something that would be kind of fun. There's some fun old pictures. My goodness. This would be an easy one. Let's do this one. The feet. All right. I, I have to say kind of like this as a picture as well and I kind of like this one with the feet also so let's keep these two and then let's see which one we want to use 
for this picture. I kind of want to do this here. So I do need to take some off. And then I've got a couple stamps I'm going to put um, here. So let's see how we want to do this. Glue stick. It was supposed to snow overnight enough that my husband had to go to work and clear snow and then it really didn't snow. There's other areas of the country that are getting tons of snow but it's just going south of us um, so it's not hitting us. Um, but boy, other areas of the country are just getting blasted with snow. We got these two, I like these stamps. I'm not sure what they are, but I like them. I'm not sure what this series is, but I like the stamps, so I'm going to put those on here. Whisper some tax documents from the apartment we used to live in before we bought our condo. So, I'm going to just use that. There. I like that, kind of a simple. And then I could use a, just a little bit of washi. So let me look at my washies and decide what I want to use. My three tins here. I kind of want this flower one, I think. Would actually work good here. So we'll do that. <sighs> <clears throat> I have just been, I don't know, I've been thinking a lot about the different things I do and um, do I want to continue them? What do I want to do? Um, I used to scrapbook a lot and I have a bunch of scrapbook supplies and creative memories and albums and pages and page protectors and I haven't scrapbooked in, man, you know what? It has been probably 10 years and I spent a lot of money on that stuff and I got a lot of scrapbooking done, but then now I just think, you know, what was the point? Like, what am I gonna do with that? Like, my kids aren't gonna want those albums that I did do. I mean, I give them the albums that were their stuff, but what's gonna happen with all the other stuff, you know? All the pictures and, I don't know. It's really hard to know. I'm gonna put that word there. I don't know. I kind of consider this mini scrapbooking without pictures, but I just don't know if, will I ever have time to do that again? Should I sell, you know, the supplies that I have? If I sell it, will I be sorry? You know, I just, it's really like trying to kind of figure out some of that stuff is not easy. I'm going to do this. It just is not, and so I think about that. Um, I still, I have a whole bunch of supplies for junk journaling. I still want to do those um, and do the junk journaling, but then I find myself like kind of struggling with do I have time? Like, when do I do it? I want it to, like, write a book, and I still have not done that, and 
it's just, you know, I just kind of find myself wondering, like, what what to do. And, and the junk journaling in, in the book and stuff I want to do, because I want to sell the journals. But then, what about the scrapbooking, you know? Um, I'm still watercolor painting, and I do that every week. I'd like to do more of that, but that's just um, for my own pleasure. That's a hobby. And then there's like, even this, like doing this and recording it every week, it doesn't involve, involve a lot of time, but I just, lately I'm just struggling with what I'm doing, you know? I am. And what to do and how much and everything. Just, it is just, that is just how it is. Anyway, I just thought I'd mention it, just because I'm having a bit of a quandary in my mind about the whole thing and what I'm doing and everything. So, anyway, just some thoughts, guys. Just some thoughts. I'm sure everybody goes through stuff like this, too. It's not just me. All right, so Monday I got seven hours sleep, so I always consider that good. And I had a busy work day, got a lot done. It was a Monday, of course. Um, I had a work meeting, oh, excuse me, with my brother and my daughter. And then uh, I took a late lunch break and listened to the news, which I listen to way less news now, and worked on my puzzle. And then Doug got home late. Apparent, he ended up having work. Um, I said he got home at 6.15, but he couldn't have gotten home that late. He had to have gotten home at 5.15, so I need to, like, <laughs> gonna change that. Here's my pen. Here's my black pen, not my red pen. See, he's been in my pen thing here. Anyway, I know it wasn't 6.15, especially if we had spaghetti. Anyway, we watched the news and Wheel of Fortune, and then Doug talked to his mom for over an hour while I worked on my jigsaw puzzle, and we watched an episode of Hometown on HGTV, and that was about it. Here we go. He had to have gotten home at 5.15. Must have been tired when I wrote that. <laughs> okay. So I just need to put something up here, like this. I just like it, I don't know. I don't know why, I just do. So I'm gonna take off some of it, because obviously I don't need the whole thing. And there we go. And I like that rough edge over on the other side. So let's go like this. Okay. And I have been making, I think we got another, we did another camping reservation this week. I'm trying to get like eight to nine uh, camping trips weekends in a year. So um, we have several planned and already booked. We have to wait 120 days out for a couple of them, so March 11th I can make two more. And then we have three left, August, September, and October that we haven't decided um, where we wanna go or what we wanna do or anything like that yet, so. And also we don't know if we're gonna, our son's gonna be able to do the Mexican wedding this year. Um, and if he does, we're gonna have to We'll go for that. We just don't know when that would be. And neither do they because of COVID. So, yeah. There. I like that. Kind of like that. Just putting that little bit of this. Love this whorehounds. Or two. Whatever you call that pattern. I really like it. Um, okay. Then on Tuesday, I didn't have a 
like my sleep was restless but I did sleep seven and a half hours so that's good and work was pretty steady and I did do a little bit on my puzzle and I did get my exercise in and I could read a little and then I made pork in my slow cooker and um, just with a I forget what I put on it there was you cooked it in and then you made a gravy with it and it was real it turned out really really good and we had that with baked potato and <clears throat> green beans and we watched the news and Wheel of Fortune that never changes and I completed my 1000 piece puzzle and we watched in CIS and then we just read until bedtime so yeah so it looks like I need another picture because <laughs> I like that picture a lot. Let's do this. Let's do something where we can just do some dreaming about the spring and the warm weather. But this picture is absolutely gorgeous. So I'm going to take this one. And there's other pieces I can use here. So we'll do that too. And it looks like I'm gonna cut it about here, I think. Yeah, and then just tear off a little bit more of this. <clears throat> I think that will work. And I've got quite a few things I can use here, so. That's a nice spring picture, isn't it? It really helps in the winter. <sighs> really helps. I don't get out much now that it's winter either. The drive, the parking lot here is so icy. And so basically I've been getting out once a week on the weekend. My husband and I usually will go to Target or someplace and get out but I'm just not driving myself just because I don't want to walk on that slippery parking lot oh I can put this here this is from um, our friends my son's in-laws and our friends gave us this is it's kind of like a dried fruit but it's sugared so it's a guayaba, kind of like a big fruit roll type thing. But I really don't know what to do with it because you can't just eat it because it's really sh granulated, sugary. And I'm not really sure what you use it for. So I have to look it up and see if there is something I can do with it. <laughs> Looks like it costs 2800 no, that's the date. That's not the price. That's how long it's good till. 11, 28, 21. So November 28th of last year, but it's still good. I mean, there's no way it wouldn't be. So Wednesday, seven hours sleep, yay. Um, I made a loaf of potato garlic bread in my machine, and then I made a dozen homemade scones. And scones were a lot easier to make than I thought they would be. That's the first time I've ever made scones, and they were actually best fresh out of the oven. And then later in the morning, I made a turkey and bean soup for supper, and then I washed, uh, did la the bed linens today, washed them. And then I had a surprisingly light work day, so um, I set the table for a tea party with Rachel and Sadie, and they came over at 12.30, and so Rachel brought the clotted cream and the lemon curd, and I had uh, to put on the scones, and Sadie loved it. We had such a nice time. I have a lot of pretty linens, and I had some pretty teacups and a teapot, and so we just had a cute little tea party. And then we visited, and then they went home at 2.30, so they were there for a couple hours. And I just read during my free time, and then we had the stew and bread for supper, we knew his wheel of fortune. Doug uh, looks like he called his dad, and then he went to get gas in the car, and then I watched a Hallmark movie, Frozen in Love, <laughs> and then we just read before bed. So yeah. So in the soup that I made, the turkey and bean soup, 
I used this Mexican seasoning called Sazon. And I can't get this to, is it out? I think it's out. I think it's empty. Could be why it's not working. And the reason it's not working is, I think my daughter, my, I think Sadie was using it this weekend when she was over. No problem though. <laughs> I have more. Let me just get out one and we will put that in. Looks like I have to order another one to be soon. Or not order. I just go to Michael's and buy them. So I'll just get rid of that. Alright. Now that should work. Kind of got a little bit of a hole in there from that. Okay. So then I'm just going to put some washi down. And we just got to finish up this day in two more days and we are caught up. Alright. So, yeah. So I put this it's kind of like a bullion type stuff, um, but it's more Mexican seasoning. So I added that to the creamy turkey and white bean soup that I made. Um, and it was really good. So I want a word. I suppose I don't have the word delicious in my words. <clears throat> not. So what can I do? Hmm. I don't know. That did not help, did it? Any words in here? Could use to do um, nope. I don't even know what kind of word I'm looking for. So just something. How about be original? I was just kind of basically making up my soup. So we'll just put that there. And then we have the tea party, which was lovely. And that's going to be here. And um, here are the teas. So what I want to do is put something there that I think would be a good backdrop for the tea picture and I'm going to go with this. So basically I'm just going to do this um, for this. I think it's just the easiest and I'm just going to take off some of that and I'll just go like this. And then I can just cut off the part here. Right. And I guess I'll have to cut some of this off too. So hang on a second while I do that. Okay. Right. And then let's make sure we get that stuck down because I see stuff that did not stick down nicely. Okay, the rest is good. So then I'm going to put the tea, we, the tea that we used for the tea party, and that is this one, which is a prickly pear 
cactus tea. Very good. So since there's stuff on both sides of the tea thing here, I'm going to just prickly pear cactus and then the other one is this. I'm going to put that there. There you go. I like that. Okay, so then Thursday, seven hours of sleep again. I've been doing really good with sleep. And it was a quiet work day, really very quiet. I watched a watercolor YouTube, I read, I started an easy 550 piece jigsaw puzzle. I talked for over an hour on the phone with my friend. And then I made green chicken enchiladas for supper and they were spicy. We had to use a bit of sour cream on them. And we watched the news and Wheel of Fortune. And then at seven, we had Zoom meetings. I had a sisterhood leadership meeting that was 40 minutes. And Doug had an hour and a half Bible study meeting. So I just worked on the puzzle um, until he was done, and until 9 o'clock. And then just read. Because, yeah, kind of simple. Yeah, so I don't have lots of um, paraffin-like things. So I have to use... Just gonna have to use what I got because I really don't have much. But oh, look at this! Isn't that beautiful? We are doing that, and then I'm going to cut this up as well. So that I don't have these long, big pieces that I'm trying to work with. But I really love this. So I'm gonna just kind of trim it down. And that can go there. And then, so let's get that all glued up. Yeah, you never know if a work day is gonna be busy or not. Like Monday and Tuesday were busy and Wednesday and Thursday weren't. And then Friday was kind of in between. You know, it just, you just don't know. It just is what it is. Just want to put, isn't this adorable with the cat? Let's just do this cat. I can use the other one, you know. I love this cat. I think it's just cute. Like, eh, if I don't have anything else to put down. I only have one more piece of ephemera packaging, so I might as well just enjoy. Okay, so I think I just, this lends itself well to some words, don't you think? Let's see what we got for words and see what we can do. All right. My words. All right, let's see what we got. I don't want the words that are like really skinny. So calm, I like that. That kind of fits well. And then up here by the cat. And how about I'm just going to do this word sometimes. <clears throat> and Friday. So, seven hours sleep, got up at 4.45, and that's kind of what it's been like all week. And work was steady most of the day. I did have kind of an afternoon break, but then I had evening stuff that I had to come back, keep coming back and getting to people. Um, so, I was glad to be done completely. But Doug got home at 4, so we did go to Target and get our shopping done. I hadn't been out for, like I said, a week, so it was nice to get some stuff and Valentine's and birthday cards and some food. And then in the evening we watched, I don't know if you've heard of the Skylines movies, 
Net, or Red Box just came out with the third one, but in 2010, there was one called Skylines, and 2017, Beyond Skyline. So we watched those on other streaming networks, and they're pretty, not the best movie. It was kind of funny, but we'll probably rent that last one and watch it just because. And then we just watched an episode of Last Man Standing and went to bed late. I suppose it was probably nine o'clock or something when we went to bed. And I do want to put this down here. <clears throat> I'm going to do that because Sadie, this is something with Sadie. And so I want to put that down here. Um, and actually, maybe I'll put it here because I have room for it over here. But we had Sadie over this weekend and I got her uh, on set when we were shopping at Target. I got her a LOL surprise ball. And it's just a little doll and all the pieces come in packages like this, all these little packages. And the ball's about like that. And um, she's had some before, but I thought, you know, I'm just gonna get that for her. And so, and a new toothbrush. She had, hadn't had a new toothbrush from us for a while and her toothbrush here at our place is definitely wearing then so I um, got her instead of a regular one one of the spin toothbrushes with the mermaid on it <laughs> so when she came over this weekend she was pretty happy about all her little surprises that we had for her which is always fun but I got all this space so I thought you know I'm just gonna do some stuff on here and let's do this we'll cut some of this off I love this sky and I'm gonna put that down and put um, some words in white on it and I'll put this here and then I'm gonna take this piece that's left over and I'm gonna put that here and I'll put a word on it and then and that's all that I have to do with that because the rest is just washi or stickers so these can go for next time instead of this and I'll put this down first I guess so let me see and we have something that's kind of fun and crinkly, right? So let's put that right here. Okay. And then maybe some washi and some words would work. So let me see what I have for washi. I have this. This one would work. I could just go like that. I'm gonna put some on top of that because I think just to kind of hold it down a little better. Do that. And then let's just put a bit up here. All right, I think that's good. It just kind of keeps it. We don't want it to like anything to happen to it. So I think we're done with these little tins of washi. So I'll just put those aside. And then all we have left is um, some of the wording. And I'm gonna move this because it seems to make it kind of dark. And I don't think we need it to be dark, do we? I'll just move some things so it's a little brighter here. Oh, so much better. I didn't realize I was covering up so much light. All right, so let's just get some words like, how about beyond beautiful, like this. Terry. Beyond beautiful. That's what the starry sky is at night. And then over here, let's look for 
something, something. Hmm. Maybe in white as well. some words that it doesn't have to particularly have any special meaning but okay so let's see what we've got let's go back to here so this is where we were so we did Saturday and Sunday last weekend there's Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday and Friday. Perfect. I'm happy with that. You guys, thanks so much for watching, listening to my rambling, whatever, you know, goes on with me here. Um, and I will see you next time. Okay. Bye.